Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy J Rob447 again. And if you hear like a little nasally voice, it's because I uh have sinus problems right now because because I don't know why. But anyway, we're just you know simming our schedule right now. As you can see, two straight losses. Not a good look. Not a good look at all. But hey, this team is terrible. So we're two and two right now. So that's a good. That's a good thing. We're going to be playing against Iowa this episode, but we will simulate this game against Montana State, and we do win. That is just great for our team morale. So we're going to be going into the game 2-3. and three. That's exactly what we need. So anyway, about this series. I know you guys are probably like, J-Rob, you should post a little more frequently, but it is hard to do that because, number one, I don't come straight home. I gotta stay to school. I gotta stay at school till five o'clock. Yes, five o'clock. Today wasn't one of those days, clearly. But uh, still, if I get home at five o'clock, I wanna watch some YouTube videos of my subscribers. That would probably take, you know, I'd say an hour, hour and thirty minutes. So let's say it's seven thirty. So now I wanna go and record some footage, video footage for my videos. That's gonna take another hour, which would make it eight thirty. Then I gotta edit it. You know, then I got to put my voice over it. That's going to take, I could do that in probably an hour, maybe 45 minutes. So let's say an hour, 9.30. For it to render, probably another hour, 10.30. And for it, to, for it to get posted, probably be 11 o'clock. I am not going to waste, and I didn't watch, and you know, I like to watch TV sometimes. So I would have to sacrifice a lot. And I didn't even get all my homework yet. So like, what, what, what's the point of me doing that? So, you know, school comes first, and if you're a kid, school always comes first. You need to get school, because that's the only thing that will help you. That's not the only thing, but, you know, school should always come first. Trust me, all right? Trust me, kids. I know what I'm talking about. But anyway, we're winning 6-4 against the strong Iowa team. You know, probably could be one of the best teams in the Big Ten, and we got to show them how Howard plays their basketball, and we just play that mash, smash mouth right there. We're going to drive it down your throat, and that's why we play two power forwards. So anyway, Grant Stewart's going to the line averaging 10.8 points and 6.8 rebounds. Field goal percentage is pretty high, too, at 48%, but he does not always make his free throws. As he misses first one, but he doesn't miss, make the second one. So next year, for this expectations, I expect to make at least a tournament. I don't care if it's Maui. I don't care if it's the NIT. I really, I would really like to make the NIT this season. And you know, yeah, I will be simming a few games. Like honestly, that's the only thing because it's not in my power. But we get the slam cam, damn. Right there with Grant Stewart as he, as he dunks and he's on fire. And now Kevin Harrison is going to the line as Anthony Postel of Iowa gets called for the foul. But anyway, as you look at this again, that was clearly a foul, you know, blocking as he was trying to get the layup to go. So, yeah, um, this game, I really like playing it, honestly. If they just made a newer version. It would be so good. Like it, they, it'd be so good if they made a new version, but they can't because of the college situation. And I just, I just hate the fact that they can't make a new game because of it. Now, I mean, it would be better if they could just use their names and somebody could put in the rosters, but that takes work. And also, to rat, to Ray Spratling scored a three. In next episode, there's going to be a little surprise, so I hope you guys would like that surprise. Anyway, Joseph Irby goes up with the layup, misses, gets his own rebound, misses again, gets his own rebound, shoots it, and makes it, finally, two offensive rebounds. That's called persistence, guys, and that's what you need in a game of basketball to win. And also, what happened today in my school, or yesterday, the girls' JV basketball team from my school got... They got crapped on. They got no. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say it. they got shitted on. They lost by 66 points. Never have I ever in a real basketball game lost by 60 points. I've lost by 40, but never have I ever got whooped by 60 points. They only scored two points, two points in the first half, and their final they only scored nine points altogether. Are you kidding me? That is just straight. Garbage. They are garbage. They are garbage. They are trash. At least the soccer team, we, the soccer team that I manage, um, they, they are right. I mean, they won. They lost some really close games, and you know, they only had 11 people, so you know, sometimes they gave up. But yeah, they were all right. 
the girls' JV basketball team? Oh, my God. Fit 66 points. How do you let that happen? I don't know. Anyway, Iowa caught up. They got on a little run, and we should never let that happen. But you know where he's making threes, where he's a senior, and we're going to be using him for threes a lot because we're going to need that three-point killer to, you know, make his name out here. And we should never let Gary Lucas... No, that was actually Derek Harper that went in for the slam. But that's another thing. Our interior defense is really not the best, especially when we have three guards on the floor. And that gets blocked. Oh, my goodness. That was just crazy. That block was just, ugh. Good Lord. That was crazy. But we send in our subs. So, you know, 28.8 seconds left. Probably around how much. But we miss a three. And they get the rebound. And they're going to push it up the court with Gary Lucas. And Ingram is tied up on him, Neil Ingram. He does not get a lot of points, but, you know, defensively, um, we like to use him because he's pretty good defensively. I think that's Bridges that's out on the wing, and he is going to the line as Postel fouls him again. No, actually, I think that was Lewis that fouled him. Either one, they still fouled him, and they're in foul trouble right now. Nope, that was Derek Bridges that's going to the line. He's a freshman, small forward, and he does not start because he's just not good enough. But anyway, he'll probably start next year because we're going to need him. We need to get some recruits in this game. Only two-star recruits like us, so that's really bad. But he makes a second free throw as the score is now 26-20. to 20. And look at Iowa. They're trying to heave up a three, but they cannot make it as we go into halftime. Leading by six. That's right, baby. Leading by six. And, you know, we did what we had to do. We had to get the early lead. We had to get the early runs. And that's why we have the lead now. So anyway, going into halftime, 20 to 26. Yeah, we cannot fill the stands. I'm sorry, guys. We cannot fill the stand. But probably at the end of the season, we'll probably get more fans to come. But our field goal percentage is way better than theirs, which is really good. So we're put. We're not pushing. We're pushing. We're not pushing the tempo. Uh, and we're really going. We're really doing good on our key. Our keys of emphasis right there points of emphasis and we get a nice steal in Therese Spradling just so control in the, so much control in the air as he went up for that layup anyway Ty Rivers going to the line averaging seven points a game you know doing what he got to do you know Ty Rivers that other power forward that plays in that small forward spot but hey you know he's doing what he's got to do and that's what we got to do you might be a little slower but to Ray Spradling speed and so does Grant Stewart speed. It makes up for it. And we went up for that late. We missed it. But Kevin Harrison, nice hook shot off the class, makes it. And we're winning by six points as we did when the half was over. So Ingram has it. He's going to pass it out to Stradling for three. Stradling, he is just so dangerous from out there. You have to put a hand in his face. And look who was going up for another leg. That's Grant Stewart, Mr. Baldy. Call him Mr. Clean, all right? Give, give, give my players some nicknames if you guys call him Mr. Clean. I don't really care. But Ty Rivers at the line again. He's a senior. He's majoring in geology. And, you know, he got that M1 call, and he gets that bucket to go. So he converted the M1, so if you missed that. Anyway, I think that was Kevin Harrison that went up with a layup. Our big men are putting in work. Neil Ingram, quiet. That's all I can say. He's just quiet. But, yep, Marcus Lewis gets his fourth personal foul. One foul away from being fouled out. And I'm telling you, we're doing exactly what we need to do. And that's get to the line. And Grant Stewart's going to the line. And, yep, makes his first free throw. That's exactly what we need. So, he shoots. He scores his second free throw. And I could have sworn that his major said English. But that could have been Kevin Harrison. You never know. I don't know how they just make that crap random, but it's NCAA, so you know it's it's just it's just weird. It's just weird. They gotta have a little more gimmicks, and that was a nice up fake by a small forward. That's exactly what we need. And Gary Lucas, he's fouling because we're winning the game by one point with 17 seconds left. So they're gonna have to they're gonna have to foul us if they want to try to win the game. So Teray Spradling makes his first free throw. Mr. Clutch makes his second free throw as winning by three. And with point oh six seconds left, there is just no time in the world for them to win as we escape this home game. Fifty four to fifty three. And Teray Spradling is your player of the game. 
And Therese Bowling put in work with 17 points. Can you say clutch? Yes, you can say clutch. He is just clutch. You know, where he made a nice shot, we had to get him out there for crunch time because if we needed a three, he was there. Where was there? I mean, accidentally. But anyway, we won the game by one point. We escaped. We escaped. They caught up. And we should never let them catch up. But, you know, that was that was going to happen because that is a really good team right there. It, it was inevitable that that was going to happen. But anyway, showing you the stats. You guys can read that for yourself. Anyway, this is another j -Bow video. Like, comment, subscribe. And thank you for 2,000 subscribers. Peace. I'm out here.